Hi guys, Pathic Gaming right here, right now. Bringing another coaching session today with Jasper, who is Diamond Two. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. What's up, man? So let's see what what happens this game. I wasn't really sure what the D three P one meant, like Diamond Three or Platinum One. Oh yeah, it was like Diamond Three Part One of the video. Oh okay, I yeah wow that that's not that hard to figure out. So what do you like to start? I like sword star, so I usually try to get sword. Completely agree. And yeah, on this game, like, yeah. For this, I kind of went belt because I really value Zeke's. But, like, I really don't know what to get in these situations. Okay, so... Belt for Zeke's. What else does belt give you? Belt will give me, like, Zephyr, I guess. No, Green Zephyr is not an item. Zephyr is... ZZ is okay ish, yeah. Um, Sunfire is pretty good. Yeah. Sunfire is actually like super OP. Okay, okay, okay. Good but like, that, like, as long as you know why you're doing what you're doing, it's fine. Like, my, mm -hmm. my rating is Sword and then Chain. Because, uh -huh. because of Sunfire. Because of Sunfire, Bramble, Locket, or possibly Titans. They're all decent items. Is Bra Bramble still Bramble is a good item? So like, if I get two chains, then just smash Bramble. Uh, Bramble's an okay-ish item. Like, it does a bit of like it's not as good as Sunfire, but it does a bit of damage to the front line essentially, and it negates uh -huh. damage. Like, there's still a twenty-five percent chance of crits, right? Like, naturally twenty-five percent yeah. chance of crits, which are completely ignored. Okay. Cool. 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 Yeah. And Titans is good on any like frontline damage dealer, and Locket is, it's kind of broken. Whenever I yeah, slam Locket, Locket is pretty broken. whenever I slam Locket, I seem to do really well, like surprisingly well, because it's it's like three hundred HP on level one. I think three seventy five level two. So if you have yeah, like five units, four units, it's like two K HP. Am I doing that right? I believe so. So five multiplied by three seventy five is, yeah. 1900 okay. HP. That's like, yeah. that's like essentially two more units, right? Because mm -hmm. units have like around a thousand. So you like, if you have a lock, it's two more units. So you would value like, you would value. So you said you said earlier that you value DF and then uh, arm, uh chain vest. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. Um, it's it's tough. It's tough. Like chain is. I don't know, it's, it's, sometimes I think Chain is better, sometimes I think Sword is better. Mm -hmm. So the reason, the reason why I think Sword is better is because of like all the damaged Sword items. Like they're just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just so, so, so good. Like even if you, if you yeah. sound like an IE, Deathblade is crazy, um, not Hodge, Hextech is really good. So like all of these things are really, really good. Mm -hmm. So that's why I... I like the sword and everybody yeah, says you uh, should turn up your microphone which i you said it's already at full right yeah i think it's already at max let me see if i can turn it up give me one second so you can hear yourself better and like people can hear you better and you can hear yourself better on, on the vod afterwards yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's already max for me it's already max sorry guys So that's that's why I don't like belt. Why why do you think, like, why why do you think I don't like belt? Like what's what? Is not enough, not enough, uh, good enough item to smash, right? Yeah. Like, like Zeke would just be the best, and everything else is like subpar, other than like subpar, right? Yeah, and, and and the worst thing is if you double up, it's it's kind of bad, because like if you double yeah, up on yeah. sword, sweet. If you double up on armor, sweet. If you double up on belt, like what the hell? But I have seen some like some top streamers start belt, so like it, it just a it just a preference. Okay. So like if you have success with it, why the hell not, right? Mm -hmm. So minor thing that I always tell my students: look at this, look how much time you wasted. Uh huh. Yeah. So the sooner you kill the, I mean this round is irrelevant. But the sooner you kill the creeps, the sooner you get to decide what to do with with uh, with your gold. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, that that makes a lot of sense because uh, 
sometimes like I, I, I'm, I'm rushed, you know, like if I get gold, I'm rushed to buy everything. And I think you're last, right? Like here, it doesn't matter, but you were the last yeah. one. So like, look at this. You got all, like, there's nothing you could do. Yeah. You were super rushed. All right, let's see if you make the right. Oh, okay. Why did you sell the Silas? Um, I wanted to go for sharpshooters, and like I, so when I like I personally like going sharpshooters early because I, I think they're good, right? Like sharpshooters, I'm okay and with. Then, and then, um, size, like size is like it's just a brawler. Like for, I don't know. I actually don't know. Like I just I just favored the sharpshooters over size. No, sharpshooters are fine. I'm I'm cool with sharpshooters. Um. I'm cool with the cultist, but like, do you need Lulu then if you're going sharpshooters? That's true. Like, I think I was also thinking about mages for a second because I had TF and Lulu, so like, I could have a chance at mages. But like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, mm. Okay, but like, what is the one thing you don't have right now? Um, what do you mean by that? Okay, so looking at all the units you have right now, uh -huh. what sort of units are they? Backline, yeah, I don't have a front line. Exactly, like backline, utility, whatever. Yeah. So that, like, that's why the Silas, I would value the Silas kind of highly here because if you have two brawlers, you need some front, you, you can get some front line. Okay, that makes sense. So I should have just kept it, okay. Like, you have, you have enough gold to be able to keep it. That's what I, like, under normal circumstances, like, you need gold, right? Right, you have enough yeah. gold right now to be able to keep the Silas. Yeah, so see, like, yeah, this is fine. The, the sharpshooters are fine, but then maybe you don't need the Lulu. Yeah. So, like, in, in these types of situations, like, would you just sell the Lulu right here, or, like, would you wait till later? Okay, well, right here? Right yeah. here? Huh. Well, you have to sell the... Like you have to sell one of the TFs anyway, the one of the, the, the belt. Yeah. So maybe I would just sell the Lulu. I don't know, like, Lulu got nerfed. She's not, like, she's the best mage. But it's tough. It's okay. either Lulu or Janna. I guess Janna. Janna's kind of just utility. Like, Janna doesn't really mm -hmm. do much. So, like, I'd probably sell Janna here. So, like, probably sell Janna and keep the Silas. And then you sell the TF with the with the belt and pick up Fiora. Okay. So I hope you don't get punished. You get some sort of front line, but yeah. Oh, look at that! Punished again. So still yeah. no front line. <laughs> um, yeah, we're selling the TF with the belt. We're selling the Janna and Lulu, and we're buying that, right? Put it in, put it in. Oh no. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know? I, I think. Yeah. yeah. So here, I, I was, I, I was struggling to decide if I really wanted that Italy because it was Warlord chosen and not Sharpshooter chosen. So I didn't know like if I would end up wanting to go into Warlords. If that makes sense. But what? That makes no sense. Um, you already have a okay. way. Uh, hmm. You already have a yeah, Wayne for sharpshooter. I was like, really hoping a sharpshooter. <laughs> but you can get you can get Garen, Vi, or Jarvan. Yeah. So now this is this is exactly why why I said it was bad to sell the to sell the Silas. Yeah, now I don't have a front line to work with. Okay, not bad. So I guess you, you have to put in the... Oh, double... I guess you can go double nidly. Yeah, I went double nid. You, you, have, you, like, you have insane damage, which is kind of, yeah, nice. Um, so I guess you summon the Zeke's here, sure. Sure, this is... this This should be like... I always say you want frontline and backline, but you have like so much damage that you might you might win. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think I do well like the first two rounds. 
Because you have a Zeke's as well, so it's just like completely insane damage, yeah. Yeah, the damage is just completely insane. And you buy out the shop, right? No. Nope. Why do so we... You always, so, if you don't... If you, you're always supposed to buy out shop? Yes. Okay, first of all, he's going for Moonlight, so you should definitely buy the Diana so he doesn't get it, right? Uh-huh. And why do we buy out the shop? Uh, better chance of... Uh, better odds of uh, stuff you want. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And? There's another... And Is it like the point you just made, like making sure other people don't get the stuff? That's a minor thing, but a bigger thing is okay. you can two star something. Like even a two star Yasuo is decent uh, front line, right? So like, even so, like you, so like I should value like getting a two star more than like I should value getting um, like set effects. Okay, if if you get a warlord, it's the best, uh -huh. right? But right now, if you have Silas in the front. It's better than nothing in the front. If you have a two-star Yasuo in the front, it's better than, like, one-star Elise. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Because that's the thing on stage two. Stage two synergies are kind of important, like, star, star sharpshooter. Like, synergies are important for your for your chosen, maybe. Like, if you have a chosen uh, sharpshooter, like, chosen whatever, and you need a sharpshooter, like Dusk or Warlord. If you have a chosen Vanguard, then, you, then it's fine. If you have a chosen like warlord or chosen uh, divine then you want a vanguard to go with them right but yeah. otherwise uh, why is there a giant vagina in the middle of your screen i, I like it <laughs> i don't know who came up with the giant vagina like i don't know like <laughs> yeah nice art um yeah so I here I should also be fine. yeah i basically missed the two story also i guess right? it's it's like two story also is irrelevant but it's like the fact is and here you should be leveling up no, you don't want to level up for frontline. I think I do. Okay. But I think I put in Jedi. I don't know. We'll see. Uh. Yeah. Okay. What is the best frontline unit you have right now? Just Elise, I guess. Elise or Fiora? I like Fiora because she has the. Oh, her W. I mean. Yeah, her 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 ultimate or whatever, so she like stalls for a bit, because that's uh -huh. what you need the most. Okay. Right, like you you just. Taking damage. Uh huh. Like, sorry, you, you, you're like, uh, there's no way for you to soak damage. That's what I mean. So here's like a yeah. Fiora Yasuo. Just pick up. Yeah, there you go. Probably not the. Oh, there we go. There we go. There's some front line. Um, so. Yeah, I don't think about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is tough. Is it? It's 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 like Thresh. I guess Thresh is the best, followed by Katarina. I think here I just try to make ten. What? But why not put the thresh instead of a Janna? Hmm. Right? Yeah, yeah, that makes sense now that I yeah, now now that I focus more on like the front line back line game, but Cause that also gives you dusk, right? Yeah, that's And that's right, what is specific to Thresh? The the shielding, right? The shielding and Vanguard? Yeah, uh, but like He's actually the, the tankiest unit. For some reason, Thresh has the highest armor in the game. Oh, really? Okay, I didn't know that. So he's, he's kind of like a... I think he does. I, I think he does. I, I don't want to... I don't want to lie, but I think he does. If Oh, you can just do it by armor. Yeah, there you go. 80. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. So he, like, he, he kind of has the Vanguard buff by himself. Just like, uh, just like, oh wait, there's no magic resistances. Just like Silas has like the highest magic resistance. I think it's 80 as well. Okay. So it just, yeah. And yeah, I, people are saying Irelia is good too. Irelia would be okay as well. Because she disarms. Thresh would be even better for, for uh, Vanguard and Dusk. So wouldn't winning this round be better than sitting at 10 gold? Yeah, I think I lose this round. Yeah, yeah, looking at his board, yes, you do lose this round. Because he has he has uh, brawlers that you just can't chew through fast enough. You just don't do enough damage. Wait, so you don't sell the... I guess I'll 
guess I don't. God damn. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I'm trolling. Okay, so I'm you're trolling. either you're either either buying stuff or you're or you're selling stuff, but you're not sitting at eight. Yeah. Or yeah, pre-leveling, yeah. or you can pre-level. Just do something, but like sitting at eight is, is completely pointless. Oh, yeah, that's the end. That's the end. And like I'm bringing on these small small things at the start because they make a big difference in the long run. They make a big difference. Yeah. Cause like winning there, I think winning there was an option had you leveled up and put in put in something, or maybe if you just put in the thrash. So what do we want here? Lock it, lock it. Oh no. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Here, here. I was, I was, I was just being really greedy here. You know, like I have the option of a locket, but I decided that like I just wanted more damage, like with the BS sword. Okay. Like, it was just really greedy on my part. Were you watching the the same round I just watched? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I died because I didn't have enough HP. You, yeah. you died because you had like no front, like no front line. So locket yeah. gives you more HP, which is what you lack. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't think you, you you don't need more damage. You, you have enough damage. You need some sort of uh, some sort of HP. Oh, there we go. I had it least. So, I fucked myself, basically. Oh, now... You, oh, you, you sold her... Oh, you... Okay, yeah, whatever. Okay. So, please... Yeah, so... Uh, imagine if we had the Thresh now. With the Garen? You'd yeah, have... Uh, you would have uh, Vanguard and Dusk? And Warlord? Right? Like, that's something you need yeah. to... You need to plan for. The odds of getting a Garen are pretty high. And picking up that Thresh would have given you insane synergies. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. That makes sense. And the, the frustrating thing is you were at 8 gold. Right? So... Yeah, yeah. Which is a, which is a weird spot. So, like, buy out the shop. Either buy out the shop or... Uh, Pre-level or something. Because, like... And right now you can just level up for free. Right? Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's good. But yeah, if that Vi had been a Thresh, you'd be in a way, way, way better spot. Yep. And this is just like not using what you were what you were given. So that that's like you have to you have to use every unit that's given to you, which is what what top players do. Mm -hmm. Like watching even like players even better than me, I'm like, what the hell? Like every like almost every single round, they change like one unit. I was like, oh, this is a little bit better. This is a little bit better. I'll change this. I'll change that. Yeah, look at the locket value. I mean, the locket is just... Yeah. Okay. Uh, we definitely want the Zeke's on the... Yeah. I, but... I was thinking, I, was, I thought since I was dying too fast, if I threw Nidalee on the other side, maybe I'll live a lot longer and I'll do more damage. Okay, how how, I was dying too fast. Okay, how does Nidalee do damage, by the way? How does Nidalee uh, do more damage? Uh, her ulti, right? Yeah. So what does like, her ulti like, do? Yeah, attacking them. Yeah, but no, no, but what does, what does her ulti do? Uh, by distance, right? Yeah. So why the hell don't you have Garen and Vi in the front row so that when she ultis there's more distance? Hmm. I think I wanted Vi to have Zeke also, but in the optimal situation, Nidalee would have been next to the vein, and then... No, 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 Garen. like, uh, no, I mean, I'm saying you need to put your, your frontline units in the front, unless they're, unless they're playing against Assassin's or Shades, to maximize the ultimate. Okay. Because look what's going to happen, like, all, all their units are going to, like, walk up a little bit, and your units are going to walk up a little bit. Right? Uh-huh. So now, look, like, at the, at the Nidalee down here. I mean, your units died too fast anyway, but, like, there was no distance traveled. Look at that distance. You see that distance traveled from, from this Nidalee? Mm -hmm. Like, that's why you, you killed his Nidalee, because it was full distance. So that's just, like, maximizing. And you're definitely buying the Wukong here for Vanguard, right? Yeah, you're not valuing, like, you're not leaving yourself options to get free two-star units. Completely yeah. for free. 
There's a thresh. I hope you pick it up this time. Nope. Nope? What? You don't want Dusk Vanguard? Over Vi? You're thinking about it. <laughs> You're thinking about it. I thought about it. I thought about it for a second. So Vanguard gives you more armor. Thresh has a great yeah, ability. Is so for everyone. Thresh give, has a great ability, and and the the dusk gives you more spell power. So, yeah. We're sitting at no no. Why are we sitting at twenty six gold? So that like that's a I huge mistake. So you can yeah either sell Katarina and Pike or buy the Thresh and sell one of the Waynes like. You can just sell Katarina Pike and one of the Waynes and buy the Thresh. Mm -hmm. Or, like, even, like, worst case, keep the Katarina and Pike and the Waynes, but buy out the shop to get to 20. So that's, like, yeah. never sit on anything that isn't a, doesn't end with a zero. Okay? So, like, you should always be at, like, 10, 20, 30, 40, zero. Right? But, like, mm -hmm. there's, never, there's never a point to be at 26. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah, like that that gives you nothing. While keeping the units would give you something, yeah. So yeah, there's the the sword. Yeah, you're still not using the sword, so like here, I would probably slam a GA and be upset about it, or like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Rather than, than slamming the... Wait, what? So, you need more damage. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> Is that what you're telling me? You're I think I put a Teemo there because, like, uh, the Teemo the blind is pretty strong, you know? So I thought that would have been a good idea. I mean, and, like, I already have sharpshooters, so. I mean, this board, like, his board is complete shit. Like, I'm surprised he's, like, running this. Like, you should not be winning here. I don't know why his board is, like, complete shit. Like, mm -hmm. if he actually wanted to win here, he could easily. Just, like, level up and play something stronger. But, yeah. Diamond lobbies. I guess diamond lobbies. But still, like, your board is atrocious. And what, like, what are you trying to do here? Are you trying to three-star this shit? There, there's no point three-starring three -star this shit. You do realize that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Let me, what's the reason behind not wanting to three-star it? Okay. Uh, if it doesn't cost you any econ, and it happens for free, you take it. Uh-huh. But what sort of units do you want to three-star? Like, four cost, three cost? Uh, not really. Or your carries? Yes. Okay. You want a three-star units that are actually going to carry items. So, like, having a three-star Nidley that you're going to sell on stage four anyway, like, it doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. Having, like, having a three-star Wayne, like, if you are going to go into uh, Dusk, like, Dusk with Jin. It's okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's not the worst, but like yeah, if you get if you get her naturally, fine. But yeah, like you had her instead of selling the Katarina and the and the Pike and buying the Thresh. So like, yeah. Yeah. And and obviously I, you. I could have had her in first place. like if it doesn't cost you econ, why not? Obviously you have uh, two Nidleys which you're playing right now, so that's fine. Like you can have two Nidleys if you're playing them. Oh my god! I, you make yourself weaker every single round! What is your front yeah. line? What is your front line? Uh, <laughs> nobody. Uh, do you play League of Legends or Dota or any MOBAs or anything? Yeah, I play League. Yeah, so, like, don't you usually want, like, some tanks and then some carries? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't have any tanks. Because, I mean, in Dota, the same thing is, like, the same concept applies. If everyone on your team picks a carry, you just rage because, like, who the hell is gonna like do the other the other jobs, right? Yeah. 
So, like, whose job is it to tank damage here? Uh, probably that one, yeah. Yeah. One. So, what's going to happen here is... Uh, your carries are going to start dying fast. Like, you're, you're just lucky your carries are this buff that you do enough, enough damage. You, like, you barely do enough, but it's, like, so risky. So, yeah. so, so risky. I think in this lobby, two people are trying to go Moonlight. Yeah, that's good. That's, so, yeah, so I was, getting, I was getting really lucky there. I mean, why not put in the second weight over the Teemo, no? That's even, like, that's yeah, stronger, well, at least. At least if you're playing this weird-ass board, the second, the second weight is stronger than the Teemo. And you even sold the Vi, so you can't go six Warlords. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good, yeah, good. <laughs> Are six Warlords good? Stage three, sure. With some okay. with some synergies like Sharpshooter or like Vanguard. If you have six Warlord Sharpshooter Vanguard, why not? Yep. No front line. That was a Jinx too, right? I think so. Mm. Yeah. And no items. Oh god! Like, why not make a GA here? If you wanted to win that, you could just slam the GA on this Nidalee, right? And you win this. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. I mean, that's what, what top-level players do. They slam items during combat. First, I looked at it as cheating, but then I realized it's actually brilliant. Like, what the hell? Like, the battle's happening. You can't just equip items. Well, yes, you can. Like, that's part of the game. You, mm -hmm. you can't just equip items in mid-combat. Like, give Nidalee the tier? If you had given her the tier, just the tier, she would have cast sooner and killed the Jinx. Yeah, anything would have worked, basically. Like, right here? Right here, if you slam the tier on the Nidalee, she would, she would cast right now. Yeah. And she would actually kill the Jinx. And, and it wouldn't cost you anything, because like you're not, you don't have to even make an item. You just give her yeah. a tier. So like right now she has enough, like after this cast, she has enough. Yeah, and she would just throw out her spear. Like a little bit sooner. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like no reason not to put the tier on her. So like you're not even thinking about it probably. So just like something to think about. Like thinking about using your items during combat if it's very close very close. Like I forget about it as well a lot of the time, but like I know it's an option. What? Oh, okay. Chalice. It's fine. I was doing this for Chalice, I think. Okay. That's yeah. Good. Yeah, because I originally wanted the cannon for, for uh, Locket. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, another person saying that if you, you could have put the BF sword on, on Wayne a long time ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's weird putting Chalice on her, but whatever. I think I'll put it on Tila. Okay. But what the hell are we doing for, for 20 seconds? I'm <laughs> thinking about that the entire time. The whole fucking turn. You didn't scout. You didn't do shit. It takes 30 seconds to equip one item. <laughs> Bro, you're not, old, you're not even as old as me. Like, I'm old and I can do it a bit faster than that. So... Please, like, scout. Do something <laughs> more useful. I would, I would have probably put it on Wayne. Uh, by the way, you lost because of no front line, right? You see that. Yeah, same, same reason. I would have put it on Wayne just so that I would stack my auras.
I mean, the 15 mana is not that big of a deal. How are you cool with this board, man? I don't think I don't think I was happy with it either, but I didn't know what to do. But you had so many options, like you had the Vanguard yeah, Thresh yeah, option. Options, but I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't recognize it. And you arrived at this from all the options. You're, like that's that's the thing. Like that's exactly like. What you need to change to get to master. Like, actually use what you're given. Yeah. All right, let's go to the second video. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's the same thing over and over. Like, you have a lot of damage, but there's, like, nothing soaking his damage. Mm -hmm. And you beat the two Moonlight players who are griefing each other. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Those are the only two people I think I've beaten successfully. Uh, why do you have to level... Why do you level up here... I, I leveled because oh, I thought I was really weak. Oh, you beat the wolf. You need to lose to wolves. Oh, yeah, yeah. I should have done it after the wolf. Yeah, Because, yeah. I mean, you're just going to lose one interest gold here. Yeah. For no reason. We What? Dude, I'm so confused. How the hell do you sell the Katarina? How can you sell this Katarina? Uh, I don't know why I saw that. You have a one star Katarina, right? Yeah. Are you ever playing any of these units? Like the Tom Kench, the Maokai, or the oh, Elise? Nah. So like by some the, like it's it's like another another thing like you can't hit anything mm -hmm. right like like you're limit like you're limiting your options like you you could hit two star Katarina you could have hit the two star Yasuo at the start maybe you hit two star two star Thresh but like you you you're not leaving yourself the option to hit because you're selling the units okay. so like. Maybe, maybe, like, maybe, like, the math might not be there exactly, but, like, I two-star a lot of my stuff just because I keep a lot of pairs on the bench. Mm -hmm. Right? So, it's, like, it's much more likely that I hit one Thresh in my shop than two Threshes. So, if I already have a Thresh pair, it's quite likely that I can ha hit uh, another Thresh. Okay, but if, thresh. like... If you don't have a Katarina pair, you're not hitting two Katarinas. No, it, uh, what? Okay, this I agree with. Oh, nice, and we got the Cultus in as well. Cool. Okay, so we're making we're making at least an IE for the gin, right? I put GS on Italy first, I think, yeah. What? Why? And because I thought that like the two star Italy would do more damage than the gin right now at its current state. But why GS instead of IE? Um I had both. Yeah, but you had a glove for You need, yeah. you need to make some items. Um, okay, so... What is GS good for? Uh, just like... Guess like Brawlers, Super Tanky people. Brawlers, 3 stars or 4 stars, stuff like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is IE good for? Everything, basically. Like, like just like... like more crit damage. Wait, you're saying... Jonathan over IE because it's... Situa I, how is IE situational? 
I no, is no, not, I no, 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 no. A guy in chat is saying IE is situational. IE is not situational. You have a Jin. If you summon IE, it's guaranteed more damage against every yeah, opponent. Yeah, yeah. And you keep okay, the yeah, I understand, I understand. And you keep the bow for last wisp or another giant uh, or another giant slayer. Okay. Or like a giant slayer. <laughs> and yeah, you need to like here, if you had made Bramble and slam the chalice, you probably beat this guy. Yeah. But obviously you're continuing your, your loss streak on purpose, right? So yeah, 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 props yeah, to you on right. continuing your your loss streak. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going fast eight. Let's see what you do when you hit eight. Uh, Vanguard's better, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have Dusk? No, you don't have... Ah, the, 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 the Thrash would be so good. There we go. What? Okay. Why would you put the chance in the front? Okay, yeah, so my reasoning was I was probably going to switch that Elise uh, for a Ribbon, and, like, Chalice on a Ribbon would have been fine. As a, like, I would have liked Chalice on a Ribbon. Like, I, I put that stuff on the Elise as a placeholder for a Ribbon. That was my intention. Okay. But why not just put the Chalice on the Wayne that you already have to buff your damage back here? Yeah, I should have. Because it's like... Uh, um, what if you don't hit a ribbon? Right? Or like, what if you don't that's hit a two-star ribbon? That's true. true. That's, that's the thing I'm arguing with in the, with, with Aram Warrior. It's like, he's saying that you don't want to slam the IE because it commits you to something, but you already have a Jin, So, like, you can kind of commit to the Jin since you already have the Jin. Uh, is there a keeper? You know, you don't have a keeper. You don't have a, another sharpshooter. Yeah. I also think the Teemo would be better than the second Italy because you have four sharpshooter that way. Mm. Obviously, if you hadn't slammed the Chalice on him. Because you ended up putting the Chalice on the Wayne anyway, right? Oh, no, you didn't put the Chalice on the Wayne, sorry. But you should have put the Chalice on the Wayne. You should have done that. Yeah. So here you should buy Warwick and Jax. Right? Hopefully. Nope. You just put gold in, in pre-leveling, which is completely useless as well. Uh. Oh god, stop making yourself weaker. Why not put in the Garen from Vanguard? Yeah. Why put in the Vi? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure to see if I can get a uh, 6 cult this day. But why? Because I thought six courses would make me tankier, so like my, my backline would live longer. Uh, yeah, okay, fine. You could have done that. You could have taken. No, you would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I could have picked anyone now. I fought. I yeah. I'll stop with her. Uh, so why do you buy the Warwick here? Uh, better <laughs> chance of like a gin or a ribbon or something actually useful for Um, uh, more importantly than that. Um. Denying other people work? No, more important, like, denying is the last thing on the list. Oh, brawler? No, not really. Hmm. I don't know. Hunters! Oh, it's... I don't know anyone for Hunter, though. Yeah, but you're gonna level up and, and you're gonna roll down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. so just keep it as an option. Like, you don't know, what, you don't know what, what you're gonna get, like, once you roll down? Like, what if you find a Hunter Ash? Wouldn't it be good to have a Warwick? Yeah. So it's like... I think, yeah, I had, a, I had a problem. I think this game, yeah, it was specifically that problem. Like, I decided to go Jins, but, like, when I was going down, I found a lot of ashes, I think. Exactly! I was, like, I was too stubborn to switch out. I think. I don't know if this is 100% this game. But, but yeah. like, that's the thing. Like, it, it costs you absolutely nothing, right? Like, this Warwick is completely free. Warwick and Morgana are completely free instead of putting gold in levels. That does nothing for you. Yeah. And then after carousel, or maybe like you can you can bite the bullet for two more rounds, like it's fine. Like either after carousel or on the creep round, you level up to eight, and then you roll down. Yeah. And like you want to leave more more options open, so by not buying the Warwick, you're just trying the door on hunters. 
Yeah. So at least have like, at least have two options in mind. Mm -hmm. And then based on what you find, like if you two star Ash or if you two star Jin, if you two star Riven, based on that, you kind of pivot into a particular comp. But it's like complete gambling, right? Like, um, essentially, okay, you want a sword, right? Sword for IE? I think I, think I, I get, get this for QSS. Okay. I mean, Chris is not, not terrible, but I would definitely go for IE. I think it's just better to have more damage. Yeah, so it, is, is the problem if you're bored that your Nedley gets CC'd, or the problem if you're bored that it gets completely shit on? Yeah, the problem. <laughs> yeah. The QSS doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think at this point I was waiting to get the uh, like five everyone in a little down from there. Oh wait, never mind, I fucking power level. Oh, oh to get six cultists there. Yeah. Uh wait, wait. Completely, place completely wrong, yeah. Is there something better we can Yeah, we could actually Put in the Garen over Wayne, I guess. Right? Yeah, yeah for Vanguard. And you can just sell and for Warlord. for Warlord and Vanguard. Yeah. You can just sell this Wayne, put in the Garen, put the Zeke's on Nidalee, and you have a backup Wayne. That's true. Or Keeper, yeah. Someone's saying Keeper, Keeper Cannon. But I, I would oh, go. Yeah. I, I would go with the with the Vanguard and the Warlord. But I do like the thought process that you need more frontline. I do like that. It just you could have been uh, even a little bit stronger. But yeah, props to you on winning this. So this is seven gold right here. Yeah, I should have sold. That you're never gonna use, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you're you're like, this is completely useless, and this yeah, is yeah. quite useless as well. Oh my god! What the fuck is this? Please, tell me what is this? What are you doing? Were you not watching the same route I just watched? <laughs> oh yeah, I saw, I saw my chosen. Did you not just win the round? Yeah, I... You just won the round. Oh my god, it's all the chosen. Yeah. <laughs> you just won the round, so it's actually kind of working, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think I sold it here because I was like, like, is the, I was thinking if, if the war, I didn't know if the war was helping me that much. And like, I already had another middle, like another two star middle, you know, to, to, to go, ready to go. So I was like, I wasn't 100% sure for you. Like, I was kind of, you know. Okay, how is this better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I, lose, I completely lose out on Warlords. No, no, yeah. fuck Warlords. You weren't playing Warlords, but how is this better? What is the one advantage you get from this? I don't have a chosen second roll into one. You can get a, you get a free... You might get a chosen next next round for free. Yeah. What is the disadvantage of this? Um, I ruined the comp that was working. Like, I lose it on Warlords. You, you, you didn't have Warlords at the time, because you did not put in the... You have Jarvan here for Keeper and Warlord, and you have the Garen for Vanguard and Warlord. But, oh, okay, yeah. putting in this Nidalee over that Nidalee, what, what, did, what did you lose? The Warlord. No. The items? No. What did I lose for switching out the Nidalee? Yeah. You I'm lost sure. 200 HP and 30 AP. Oh, uh, from the World War buff? No, from the, oh, from the, the chosen, chosen buff. Yeah, yeah, the chosen So buff. you just lost 200 HP and 30 AP for nothing. Is that a good trade? Nah. Okay, not for nothing. Sorry, not for nothing. It's 200 HP, 30% ability power for the for 
one shop or you can hit a hit a chosen. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's not worth it. Yeah, okay. like yeah. When do we sell our chosens, by the way? Uh, five on million rounds. No, that's that's not the 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 right rule. Okay. What well, like what? Okay. Uh, so we sell our chosens. Or like, okay, what needs to happen after we sell our chosen? Uh, roll down to find the, the chosen. Exactly. So we sell them when we're gonna roll. Like when we're planning to roll, we sell our chosen. Yes. That's like that's like the simple answer. It doesn't have to be creep round. It doesn't have to be any particular round. But if you sell a chosen, you need to replace it. Yeah. So that that's kind of like yeah. <laughs> and now since you sold the chosen, Shilly's pointing out, you can get the fifty by selling the vies to get yeah by selling the vies and the garen and the wains you can get the fifty. Which would like, which would, oh my god, we're doing it. Are we doing it? Are we getting to 50? I think I sell eight rocks. What the? F How can you sell eight rocks and not the Wayne? How likely is it that you get Wayne here to three star? I mean, I was too off, so I, f like, at what I'm level eight, yeah, that makes sense. 15% chance to hit him one. Yeah. So, like, um, you're not even you're not even guaranteed a one cost per shop, right? And there's thirteen one costs, so you should see. So at this point, I should just give up on like any hopes of like a one star, uh, three co uh, three star one cost. Well, as I said on stage two, you should just give up all hope as soon as you hit level six. Yeah, I, I should have just sold the vein already. And whenever it costs you econ. Like, I, I've learned these lessons myself. Like, I three-star to Maokai. I put all my items on Maokai. He does absolutely nothing. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, like, maybe if you're just one-off or it's a big upgrade, as people are pointing out. But there's, like, it's it's not, like, it doesn't really do anything, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the three-star weight is not going to make a difference. And she even got nerfed, by the way. So... I mean, she is the second carry after Jin, which is kind of cool. Oh no, but like, like Aatrox is so bad because like two star Aatrox is really powerful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, so I, it's like yeah. here, here. I was just really hoping for the three star thing. I guess to like. Why do you even bother getting the Callista? Uh, yeah, that, I, I should have just rolled that down with it. So why are you rolling here? Uh, I, I troll. Yeah, I should have rolled. Uh, no, uh, I, I started doing it as well, so it, it's not the wrong play. I, I think, I, I like, I think if I got a chosen here, like, I would have made the fifty four, so like, I would have lost econ doing it. So, like, um, that's what I don't think it's a good idea, but like, I thought I might be able to get away with it if I found like just like a one like a uh, four cost or something like that, you know? Um. So what I do sometimes is I roll down to like thirty on the creep round. Even before, look, but don't you miss out on the interest? I miss out on the interest, but I know it's a clusterfuck to roll 50 gold or like more than 50 gold in one turn. So yeah. I actually have started like rolling down a little bit on the creep round to start upgrading my board. Yeah, like one thing I have trouble with is like like completely rolling down to like get your comp within. Like, exactly. Like, I, I usually sack the next. I, 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 I'm pretty sure, like most of the time, if I if, I, if I'm not lucky, I sack the next turn trying to, trying to like build out my comp. So what's better, getting shit on next turn or losing yeah. two two gold interest or three gold interest? Yeah, that's true. Like roll down, like roll down as much gold as you need to roll down. Do you, if like if you need to roll down to, if you need to roll down to thirty, roll down to thirty. If you need to roll down to, to twenty, roll down to twenty. Like whatever you're well, comfortable. You're well, I mean, you can roll like twenty gold in a round, right? Yeah. So like you, you, you. It's like a pre-roll down, right? So it's like I've started doing it as well, because obviously, like if you're, if you're, I mean, I'm top ten challenger right now, and it, it kind of works. I lose a bit of econ, but I stabilize sooner, and I'm okay. So like, yes, maybe if I want to be top one challenger, I have to get better at the game. 
But for for what I need and for what you need, it's definitely rolled down on the creep round a little bit. Uh, all right. So another question I have is like, um, how far um, should I be rolling down? And like, like if like now is it or like keep rolling down until you find your comp or like sort like, sort of you 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 roll down until you find something useful and you can stabilize. Okay. It's like, there's no, like, you roll down to 20 gold, never go below 20. There's no answer like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of roll until you find find a comp, yeah. Okay. So, like, I, I would be comfortable rolling a little bit here. Oh, okay, so now you see that that guy has gin already? Right? So yeah. Then... yeah. Yeah, the problem with this game was two people were running gin, and I started trying to go to jail, so... Because, like... I thought if I already had one, you know, and like I had good items for the ribbon, so yeah. like maybe it would work. So I think, yeah, this game, I ended up fifth actually, but like I was just being too greedy trying to go for one. Oh. Okay, so you went for the cloak? So you got another QSS? Yeah. If you had gone for the sword, uh, you would have gotten IE. Yeah, IE and QSS, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And that just, I don't know if you're keeping track of what items you picked up from the carousel, but I think you picked up uh, a bunch of cloaks from the carousel. No, you picked up two cloaks. Uh, it was belt. Hmm. I, I don't Wasn't it belt, uh, cloak, glove? Like, but I, I think you picked up two cloaks, honestly, from the carousels. Yeah, I think I ended up, I think I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. One for, uh. One for ice cream cone and one for two yeah, So, yeah, do you know how items work? Out. Like, how the items work? You can get a maximum of three of the same from minions, right? Yeah. But it's, like, there's a bag of items, right? Mm -hmm. And in that bag are all of the items. Mm -hmm. And, like, yeah, they're, like, times three. Right? Mm -hmm. So, in your bag, there are three cloaks. And less of everything else. Because you've, you've already gotten a sword. Or like two swords, and a bow, and armors. Right? So, and the bag is not affected by carousels. Mm -hmm. So, essentially, what you get on carousels, you can still get from your bag. So, by picking up more cloaks... You're likely to get cloaks from your, like, natural cloaks from creep yeah. rounds. That's why I hate getting a cloak or a belt from Carousel, because it'll mean I'll have, like, two or three cloaks or two or three belts. Yeah, two million. Because the, the item hasn't dropped, like, it hasn't dropped for you yet. So you're likely to get it to drop. Mm -hmm. okay, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no. No. It's... You can make an you can make a ionic spark here. I think I want to lock it. Like, okay, why is lock it useless now? Think about it. Why is lock it useless now? Or like has much? It's less useful than before. Is it just because of like the items that I'm given? Like it'd be better to slide an ionic and then go for like shroud. Uh, like, uh, like yes, because like, yeah. I mean, you don't want two QSS, like uh, a shroud yeah, is good yeah, and yeah. Uh, Ionic is good, but why is Locket in particular bad? Hmm. I, I would think Locket would still be pretty good, right? For a frontline? But, but like, like Locket in general, just for like extra tankiness right now. Uh, okay, that does give you a little bit of extra tankiness, but like, why is Locket on stage 5 bad compared to stage 2? Mm, I actually don't know. Well, it's simple math, right? If you have 4 units, and you buff them with Locket, you get like, another unit or 2. Yeah. If you already have 8 units, getting a little bit, like, the, the HP values, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know exactly, but like, let's say now... Your board has, I don't know, 6k HP, right? Mm -hmm. And Locket is uh, 2k. 
So that's uh, 33%. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And at the start, if your board has uh, like 2k HP, it's like 100%. And Lockett does 2k, then it's 100%. Yeah. So like that, that's why Lockett is so good early. Because uh -huh. like as as your board gets stronger and you have more more stuff on your board, you have more like HP over the units. Mm -hmm. So getting a little bit more HP, it's still good. But like percentage wise, it's 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 much weaker or much less useful. Let's say much less useful. Yeah. Nice. What like okay, rolling first and then fucking around on the board. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to fix the board because I knew I wasn't gonna make it in time, you know. So I was like, I was trying to do something now to like. Like either sack less HP or like you, like uh, it was me trying to go in, in in between, you know. Okay, so you know that you're not good enough to roll it down now, right? Yeah. So then you do agree with me that it would have been better to roll it down on uh, the creep round. Yeah, you should roll down on the minion round. Like, yeah. Like Twenty or thirty or something. Exactly. That's a Vanguard hedge. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I take it. Okay. Hopefully I take it. So you're getting Lee and you're getting Ash, Kindred, Kane, okay. And more Ashes, yeah, that's a two star Ash already. Yeah, right. I think at this point, since I had the Riven, I had the Jin, but I was you... like, okay, like, I, I want to go Colt, I, I want to go Dust, you know, like Dust Jin carry. But why? You have a Vanguard Sejuani, which works with, with Ash just as well as Jin. Yeah, I think I was too sad on it just because I found the Jin early. And I was like, oh, like... And there's, a War the See, and there's another Warwick here. Yeah, this would have been perfect for Huntress. <sighs> Wait, so why are you rolling during the round? That, make, the that round? makes very little sense. Rolling during the round makes very little sense. Because you're losing interest, right? Yeah. So the only reason you would roll during the round is because you're, you're not confident enough to roll, uh, like roll it all down on the, on the during like the preparation stage. Yeah. So yeah, you're given a two star Ash and almost a two star Warwick, which we ignored. Mm -hmm. And then you can complain that you got bar bad RNG and didn't find the gin, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Actually, we were running gin, so kind of Where the hell is my gin? Well, here you go. Here you go, Jasper. Have a two star Ash and two star Warwick on the house. No, I wanted gin. I didn't yeah, get gin. Yeah, yeah. The game griefed me. The game griefed me because it didn't give me my gin. Yeah, exactly. You know exactly. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I've been in your shoes way too many times. Um, so here it's four Vanguard and and Dusk, I guess. So you can put in the Thresh or the Cane, okay. Thresh, right over that? No? I didn't do that because I would have lost Coltis. But you get four Vanguard and four Dusk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you sell, like, I, why I, sell the Thresh? Uh, why would you sell the Thresh? Like, at least if the option open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the next few rounds I just completely lose everything. Uh, the by the way, look at the damage tab. You should have the damage tab open to see what uh -huh. kind of damage you're taking. I'm pretty sure you took a lot of physical damage. So four Vanguard would have been really yeah. good here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And like, look at Callista. Like, she does nothing. Yeah. Like, yes, she gives you, she gives you cultists, but three cultists is not much right now. And you're you're at forty gold, so please roll it down. And there's another ash. I really so this was this was such a adept hunter game, and we're rolling, we're rolling. Please roll. Okay, good. 
Jin. Nice. The boss. Nice. Kindred, Ash. Oh, God, the boss. This was such an easy, like, war. Like, like if you yeah, come yeah, with me. Hunter, brawler, adept. Like you had, you you had the boss. You had the Warwicks. You had the Ashes. You had the Kindreds. Yeah. Uh, I don't know about Chen's, but you definitely had Irelia's. So yeah. I th I think it, 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 like a lot of it came down to like like what you've been like saying the entire time. Like I'm not I'm not I'm literally not using what I'm given, and I'm like hard I'm like hard stuck trying to like go the one thing. You know? Yeah. And I don't. Who's going for Ash? By the way, this this in this lobby. No one. I what the fuck? What the fuck? I, you... I think I think people were going Elderwood. I think people were going Elderwood, and and I got um I got I I feel like people were going Elder. At least one or two people were going Elderwood, and I felt intimidated trying to go Ash. I think that's what was going on. But you're cool being contested for Jin by everyone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. By the way, you like even like if you're contested, like you found three Ashes, right? So that's yeah, all you yeah, need. So, like, yeah, it would have put me above everyone still. Yeah, I just get rolled both. Yeah, because he has a chosen ribbon. You're still trying to three-star the Wayne, which is completely pointless. So there's another dust guy, yeah. And you have a QSS on your bench. Why the hell do you have a QSS on your bench? Why is that not on... On... Uh, Kane or Sejuani or someone? Mm-hmm. Like wait, you would put QSS on Sejuani? I would put QSS on someone. Q it's, it's it's useless, oh, okay. but it gives yeah, her yeah, like, I mean, it's shit. Having two QSS is a shit, especially since you don't have any damage items. The Giant Slayer is only good against people who have Giants to slay rather than IE, which is good on against anything, right? For Jin, and the second QSS is bad, but it's it's better on any unit. Then, then on your bench. Mm. There's a free Yoni right there. BT instead yeah, of Yoni. This is a really shitty item, but I I, I took it because I wanted more damage on my gym. BT does damage. Since when does BT do damage? It gives AD, right? <laughs> So uh yes you know why bt's shit on Jin, or shit on Jin on Jin uh, one low attack speed or all right watch watch the, watch the battle we'll watch the battle and you can you can see the the bt value instead of the yone like this is this is how you can tell it's a diamond lobby because like in master plus the yone is gone first like regardless of io yeah it's a fucking Yone. He's he's still broken. Yeah, like pre like pre uh, 4.5. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They're kind of fixing him, and there's a Shen, so you would have. A... So he, yeah, you'd have the perfect. Uh... Yeah, I would have two adepts. Like there. you would have the adept, you'd have the mystics, you have the hunters. Oh, nice. Okay, so now Jin 2 might be a little bit better. You, yeah, you might as well keep rolling. Oh! There you... Yeah! Yes! It only took you... What was that? It only took you, like, uh, 20 rounds? Cool. Yep. Yeah, my chin's not healing at all. I'm not right. using BT. So, like, this round, Eugene is strong. Uh -huh. So, you don't need the BT. I mean, it's a little bit of extra damage. Oh, there you go. There we go. That's the cultist we want. Dude, please, 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 please tell me. What is the play here? Yeah, I should have solved the king, but... No! Oh, no? Swap the Lilia? 
Yes, of course, you get Cultus and Mystic. Yeah, but I lose the four dots. Ah, uh, but... Ah, uh, fine, then, then, then the cane. But you... Yeah, yeah, I should have I switched it. Sure. Oh, the Sejuani is... Oh, you have a random Sejuani as well. Oh, God. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's why you don't have enough Dusk. I guess that four Dusk is okay for the Riven. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the way, you Sejuani... Like, this position is completely useless, right? Yeah, it has to be in the center, right? No, you, you should have your shit over here to stun everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. You should be actually, like, scouting. I don't, like, most of the, like, most of the turn, you, you seem to be wasting time. Like, no offense, yeah, yeah, but yeah. most of the turn, you seem to just be fucking around. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, like, if you actually want to hit, like, Master and, and beyond, you cannot just, like, I don't know, like, move units on your bench and, like, not really do anything. Like, it's always scouting and positioning and trying to snipe people. Because Shannon, who's in, in, in chat right now, shout out to Shannon, taught me that positioning in the late game is the like the, the most important thing. Okay, so here the gen actually heals. Okay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. so he, healed, he healed the full, so it still died. But yeah. But imagine if you had Mystic here, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mystic would have been very nice here. So then, oh, oh, that's the thing. I want to have set two. Yeah. Uh, okay, fine. You you made your you made your case for Lilia. So what does the the seven go in over? What does the what? What does the seven go over? Kane? No. Kane or hmm, Kane or Aatrox? Aatrox. Yeah, because it's still one star. Because it's but you still keep you still retain Vanguard and you yeah, get yeah. and you get Mystic. So that would have been the play. Mm. I do kind of agree that you're too broke to sell the Sejuani, so it's fine you keep her. Titans GA. I guess you can put that on Kane, right? And one of the GAs goes on Sejuani. Oh, that's a redemption. Okay. Fine. Why not? Yeah. Maybe. Or lose. Or live on around. Then I lose. But why do you lose here? First of all, that you don't need to set. And second of all, why the fuck are we not scouting, man? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, let's see why you lose. Okay. So, wouldn't it be better if the Sejuani and the uh, Casio were more here? Yeah. So, like, okay, you don't stun the, you don't, st you never stun the Aphelios, but you would stun all of this. That's a pretty powerful kindred. Right? Like, Sejuani, is, if, if she ults, she might not even hit the kindred. And uh, Cassio does nothing. So, like, for, for knowing who you're going to fight, isn't it most of the time just, like, kind of getting a... Uh... Oh, it just cuts off there. Yeah. Um, for knowing who to fight, isn't it just um, kind of like... Uh, like, you can't be 100% sure unless you're, like, you're facing, like, top three, top four kind of stuff, right? Yes. So, like, in general, it's just, like, you, you, like, you're guessing it's either, like, one or two people, right? Yep. And so, like, in that situation, would you just position yourself against, like, a stronger opponent? Or, like, how would you, like, position yourself in that situation? Yeah, exactly. You position yourself against a person... You position yourself against the person who can beat you. Or, like, um, you position yourself against the person who you beat by positioning. Like, in your position, you're, you're just fucked. But, like, in general... Yeah. In general, you, like... If you know you can beat someone by positioning for them, while the other person shits on you no matter what, 
then you position for the guy you you can beat with positioning. And if there's a guy you beat no matter what, and a guy you beat with better position, then you position for that like. Right, like okay. so, you, like you, you, it's calculated. Like okay, so one guy is weaker than you, and you don't have to position for him. And other guy is stronger than you, and if you position, maybe you beat him. Well, it's obvious. Then you position for the guy who, who uh, you might beat with better positioning. Mm -hmm. Like that, oh, yeah, that right? And like, yeah. And if so it's like, so, like you're basically like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. So you you're just you're just trying to get a more favorable fight with the harder guy. Yeah. While the while the other guy, you just like take it or leave it. So like that, right? Alternatively. If there's one guy who shits on you no matter what, you just ignore him and you position for like the one or two guys you can beat. Okay. That's like another thing. Like if, if there's like three guys you can play and you know that this guy will shit on you no matter what, then you're like, okay, fuck it. This guy's going to beat me. And you position for the other guys, right? Who you have a chance to beat. Because then, if, like, the, the most frustrating thing is, like, what happens, like, yeah, I mean, there's no, nothing I can do about it, but, like, when I play, when it's, like, best of three, because usually I end the uh, first, second, or third, so it's really frustrating when I beat, beat the other guy for, like, I, I don't beat the guy I'm playing, but I beat, my clone beats the other guy, so I end up third, mm -hmm. and, the, and the, the guy who beat me gets first. I kill, I kill off the other guy for him. Because I position, like, I position for the guy I can beat, not the guy I can't beat. Oh, okay. Right? So if I play the guy I can't beat, I get second. If I play the yeah, guy yeah. I can't beat, well, then too bad, but at least, like, I kill the other guy. So at least I know that if I had, if I had won the 50-50 and I played the other guy, I would have gotten second. Mm -hmm. Like, if I'm playing against, I don't know, Ash 3, Warwick 3, Jin 3, like, bullshit like that, it's almost impossible to win. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. but uh, so you end up. You said you end up fifth here. So I guess. Yeah. So I guess you, you beat this. You yeah, I beat this, and I lose the next one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So any any other questions? Yeah. So like one of the questions, like I was, um, is, is Ash or like Jin like the most viable? Like like are they, they're like the S tier characters, right? Yeah, I agree. Ash, Jin, and, and possibly like, Aphelios. Yeah, I hate okay, Moon Knight. If you get like, if you get Moon Knight early, it's like uncontested, right? Yeah. But like, the thing is, like, after those, like after those, like top three, right? Say you don't get any of those three, and like you don't have good items for reward, like you don't have a QSS for reward, like what do you go after that? Like, can you still run like War Six War Wars with like? A, a cat carry, or is that not gonna work? Uh, you need to go nine warlords. I feel that six is not it. I I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I personally don't have don't have good experiences with with cat. Um, what you can go is mages. I I got a first with six mages yesterday, and I was like, completely confused the whole time. <laughs> Who was your carry? Is it still Ari? Vigar and Vigar was the carry. Okay, okay. okay. Um, well, I can I can show you the the, the final board. Yeah. It was this. So it was it was Annie as frontline, right? Because we need frontline. Uh -huh. So, oh, I'm yeah. So we have Annie frontline with decentish items, mm -hmm. right? And we have Vigar items. Oh, and we had like a dusk. I made a dusk uh, Lulu, just so that I get dusk for everyone as well. Very good for mages. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I had I had a chosen Mystic Shen. Okay. And look at this. I beat a three-star Ash. Oh, crap. Nice. Yeah. Because he has... So this guy was a problem because he had a Quicksilver. Uh -huh. But this guy, he got sleepy timed. So, oh, yeah. yeah. So, like, and I, I got really confused this game because my board was complete shit. I rolled down on 3-2 on because I was, like, falling behind, like, really behind. And I pivoted into mages and I made it work somehow. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's another question I wanted to bring up. Like, so, like, you just said you rolled down on 3-2, but, like, you, like, how do you know 
when it's time to roll, like when it's time to roll down, and like when it's like, yeah. How do you know in general when it's time to roll down? Uh, I don't like. The easiest way to answer is when you're fucked. That's kind of, that's kind of my rule of thumb. Yeah. But like, is that like? Like, if you're, like, 60 HP, but, like, you think you're okay, like, you think you suck a few rounds, or, like, because, like, I'm, just, like, struggling to, like, decide, like, struggling to understand, like, at what time, like, is it just, like, completely over, and I just need to, fuck, I just need to roll down and just try to, try to get something out Like, of it. when you just keep losing and you feel like it's doomed. Okay. Because, like, here, I just keep losing, and I feel like it's kind of doomed. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't have a Chosen, because I had, like, a shitty-ass Chosen as well. Mm -hmm. So I see that my board is very, very weak, right? Mm -hmm. I really consider the, the Katarina, but she's, she's not even Warlord. She's freaking Assassin. So I'm like, yeah, okay, never mind. So I'm like, okay, let's go mages then. So, so you just power level to six and then just roll down and try to get the best odds? Yeah. Uh, I think maybe the Fiora would, would have been better than the Annie there. So Ari kind of helps, but I'm still getting, getting sort of shit on. And then, yeah. And then I, I'm like, okay, I still need to roll down. I hit Vigar too, that helps. I hit Annie too. And I hit a Vanguard, so I'm like, okay, screw it. That's that's good enough. Okay. So like, so like you're just hoping something will stabilize you. Like look, I'm at I'm at fifty yeah. on a seven loss streak of zero gold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I get a first yeah. from this. Because I, like, okay. I know I can't greet to 7 or greet to 8, right? Like, uh, like I, know I'm, I know I'm in a completely shitty position. So I, I think, I, yeah, I get, to, I get to 10 gold. So you, yeah, yeah, so at this point, you just do anything you can just to, just to like, live. I mean, I'm, right now, I'm playing for top four. Like, right now, I'm, okay, I'm so far behind. I am so yeah, screwed. Yeah, you know you're not, you're yeah. I need to get top four. And I, I get lucky with the Sedge, so I get a... I get a Hodge. So now I'm at 20 gold, and I have what used to be perfect Vigar items. Right? After the nerf, he's kind of weaker. And then, yeah... And then slowly I just win streak like crazy because I have decent front line, which is uh, the the pony, right? And the Annie and the Lulu. Yeah. So I like that's that's one thing. Like even though I've never played this comp before, I know I need front line. So what's my front line? It's yeah. uh, the pony, Annie, and Lulu because they're like tanky. Uh -huh. And I I, I realized I, I trapped my Vigar, which which got me a little bit tilted. So. <laughs> I fix that next round, so you never want to corner the Vigar, and yeah, so that that's like another option. Another option if you don't get Ash or Jin. It's mages. Okay. Like, do you think in general you can get Ash or Jin? Well, that's what you that's what you aim for. Yeah. Okay. 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 Like that that's what you aim for. You like if you don't get them, then then yeah. Too bad. <laughs> You can't get them. You can't get them every game. Uh, <coughs> but let's see what else. Like, so yeah, here it was uh, essentially Yone carry. Oh, I was one off from Cassio three star. This was this was a bit tilting. So here, this is kind of an Ash carry game. But like, the 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 real carries are are these guys, right? I have a two star Yone, two star Ezreal, oh, yeah. two star Azir. So that's the real, real carries. And he had nine warlords, so it was just so like it was impossible to beat him. So this right, guy, so, uh, yeah. Another question is like, like obviously you want like the optimal items on like your your main carries, right? But like, 
like for example that game with with your Ash and like your Ezreal and Yone, like how'd you get so many items on your Ezreal and Yone? <laughs> Um, like, yeah. What, what if you like at that point have slammed the items onto other people? Um, no, I. Well, that's a. Uh... Okay, wait. We can we can look at this. This was the game before the first one. Yeah, we can look at that. I just I just have my mid game carries and then pivot into my late game carries. So so you're. Uh, hmm. let, me, let me try to find like, the question I'm trying to ask. So all those items, you just put it on like... So this game was very funny. Everyone was making fun of me because I put it on... I, I had tanky items on Rygar. Yeah. Because <laughs> like he was my he was my elder with chosen like... Yeah. So yeah, uh -huh. th these are my items. And I put them... I put the items on Ash because I knew that I want to play Ash as soon as I found her. Uh -huh. yeah. like, I, I can show you what I had before Ash. I think I found her very early. Oh, I found her extremely early. I found her extremely early. I found her oh, stage two. Okay. I had yeah, Kidred. Yeah. So I had him on Kidred. Uh, okay. And before that, I think I had them on a Sharpshooter most likely. Before I found the Kindred. So like you just sell the 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 unit and you put it on like whoever you can, right? Look, yeah, there you go. Scary, there you go. So it's Sharpshooter. So it's sharpshooter, and then it as soon as I as soon as I hit the kindred, as soon as I hit kindred, I put items on kindred. Mm -hmm. So I, yeah, I, I do it on sharpshooter, and I think next round I find a kindred, so I put the items on kindred. Okay. And then I, it's just like you just keep transferring the items. Yeah. So kindred's better than one star nidley, of course. So I put it on kindred. Mm -hmm. And then I get lucky and I find a, I find an ash. Uh -huh. But I can't sell the kindred because I need a hunter. So I keep the kindred yeah. and I keep the ash. And then, yeah, then I find a warwick. So I can pass with items to, to ash. Oh, so you're just like constantly switching off, like putting, putting your items on the best carry at that time. And of course. If you find the better one, you just immediately switch it off. As soon as I can. That's just like your main carry. As soon as I can. Okay. So here, I, here it's still it's still kindred. By the way, I had no chosen, so I picked up the the Vigar chosen as soon as I get him. It was level five. I got him on, I got him on three one. Everyone was laughing at me as well. Right? It's like, what the hell is the Vigar doing here? Yeah. But it's like, okay, I, I get a free Vigar, so I take it. I'm like, ah, eh, do I want it? Well, it's the best I got right now. It's a, it's Elderwood, so I'll take it. So I take it for just that, for Elderwood. And then, yeah, as soon as I can switch out, as soon as I, or I think I, I think I level after this because I win, right? So because I won, because I won, I want to continue winning. That's like another, another important thing. Yeah, one shoot here. Because I won, I want to continue winning. So I level up here, I think, or do I? Maybe, yeah. So I'm like, okay, fuck it, level up. And when I level up, I, I tend to roll because when you level up, you have better odds. So it's like, you don't just want to level up, you just want to level up and roll a little bit. So I roll like twice, I believe, and I find a Warwick. Okay. Boom, boom. So now I have four Brawler, four Elderwood, two Hunter, and I'm pretty much unstoppable. Yeah, okay, cool. And then, yeah, and then like, yeah, later down the line, as you saw, uh, okay, I get beaten a little bit, because it's just Ash 1. And yeah, I just like, I think people like commit to a comp way too much. Yeah. Uh, another question I have is like, um, you mentioned just now that like, um, like once you level up, you roll down a bit. Like, it, is that something like you frequently do? If I don't have a good unit to put in, I do do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So like if you level up, but like, you, like, like. But you don't just don't have a unit, you just roll down a little bit to yeah. try to find something. Like right now, I, I'm not rolling, right? Right now, I just, I got a free Lee of the Carousel for uh, yeah. Divine and it's a Lee. Like Lee's terrible, but like he's not, he's not that bad on stage four. So I just put him in. And I need more frontline, like, 
my my board is very weak and then yeah I gradually start picking up better units along the way obviously I'm trying to put in adept at some point but I have six other wood right so I'm running with six other wood and now it's just starting to fall off right so I'm pretty sure I sell the sell the Vigar here and I do the roll down like I told you I, I I'm I'm not good enough to roll 50 plus gold in, in a round and I'm not ashamed of it I am good enough to get top 10 so I can't be that bad but like yeah I know that I roll here. See, I find that. Boom, boom. I got some upgrades. And okay, I stay at 50 because, yeah. What did I sell? Oh, I sold the uh, Annie as well. Yeah. So I do stay at 50 here because I'm a bit greedy. But I have 82 HP, so I'm confident I'll be okay. I'm picking up a lot of units because I don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't know where I'm going yet, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, like this is where you start with the items on your Ezreal? Yeah, because I hit him. Oh, and then we get the Ash. So I pivot so back. So you start putting items like right before the round starts. Okay. Yeah. But like you focus on your board the most. Yeah. Oh, this is the guy I lose to because he hits three star. Because he hits nine warlords and everything. Yeah, yeah, this is the guy I lose to. Oh, he has a warlord, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then I'm like trying to figure out what the best what the best possible board is. I get a Yone. Obviously, I don't want to put them next to the guards. Barely lose here, but then I then you, then I start winning. It's just like yeah. Okay. I realize I, I I'm not even playing Kindred. Yeah. So why is everything oh, in the yeah. why is everything in the back? Do you know why everything in the back? Uh. To, to get the elder buffer kept going, right? Yeah, exactly. It gets you a little bit extra time. So one question is like, when is there ever a time where you should slime items? Um. Okay. So the, the okay. Good question. So the way you should think about items is, what do they prevent me from doing? Like, what does this item stop me from from playing? Does that make sense? Yes. Yes, in, in a way. Like, like if you slam a ZZ rod, that. if you slam a ZZ oh. rod, you cannot play Z because you're not going to be able to make a Zeke's and you're not going to be able to make an RFC. Yeah. So that's the way I think about it. And I try like to more so like you think about the opportunity cost of like losing certain units versus yeah. like losing the ability to play something. But most of the time, most of the time, I just want to slam something to be strong. Okay. Because these these items, oh this yeah this uh, Jax just smurfs me. Because like Ash wasn't doing damage for the whole round essentially. Yeah. Two star the Ezreal. No, just chill. So this was like Ash carry, but it's because I hit an Ash and I had a chosen Ash. But I was open to other options as well. Yeah, with the with the with the castle. Yeah. Yeah. And then I sold her as I saw. Okay, I I'm not definitely not doing that route, so I sold her. Then I realized, okay, I have four brawler, so let's let's go for brawler. Or do I? Okay, maybe I realized that a turn late. But I do know I put in four brawler. Now I have enough damage to actually kill the Zed, and yeah, 
And then I, yeah, there we go. I think I put in, no, I don't put in the four brawler. Oh man, I know I put it in eventually. So it's like, yeah. So yeah, keep keep asking questions, okay. of course. Go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm just thinking of questions to ask because uh, I, I think like a lot of the stuff is just like, it's just a, a lot of situational stuff, you know, that like, like I, I just don't know like the answer to like those situations, like the when to roll down, you know, like, like what comps should I be looking for, you know, stuff like that, like greeting for comps, stuff like that. Uh, comps is, is an overrated concept. Uh huh. Well, what do you mean by that? Like you're you're looking for whatever works well together. Like you don't have to have like a real composition. Just like whatever. Like my favorite composition is just legendaries. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The legendaries are just busted. Yeah. So that's something I I aim for as well. Well, like, basically, like, whatever they give you, you just play around. Yeah. Like, you, you just got to find a way to play around that. And that, like, I, I didn't know what I was going to play. Like, that's the thing. Like, here, it's obviously, like, it's obvious towards the end. But at the start, yeah, yeah, yeah. at the start, I'm playing whatever I get, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I'm going for as many as many powerful synergies as I can, as I can put together. So, like, if you look at my early game, hopefully I don't make any mistakes this, this early game. But it's like... So yeah, what, what do you what do you get here? I just get probably a Gary and Tom Finch. Yeah. You're just like knowing knowing what your what gives you the most options. Okay. So yeah, so like leaving your options open is like the most important thing. Okay. I think I. Pass? Yeah, no, no, I get the, I get the Fortune Tom Kench. I do get the Fortune Tom Kench, that's the funny thing. But I never find any fortune, that's why I sell him. Right? So this is kind of like your board, except I have Sharpshooter and Frontline. Yeah, and you leveled up. Oh, and you slammed items. Yeah. Well, I want to win, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. And that's like the whole Can point. Can you I... put your Garen in the back for Assassin? Or... No, I put my Garen in the back because Tom Kench is a better tank. Oh. Uh... So I don't want Garen to take damage and for Assassins as well. But like, you look at that, like Tom Kench is, is taking all the damage, so it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's a one-star Garen without, without Warlord, without Vanguard. He's going to die if he's in the front. Uh, okay. So here, what is, yeah, I guess the Kindred is just stronger. I think you'd overvalue the Sharpshooter, wouldn't you? Yeah, 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 I would definitely overvalue Sharpshooter. Or maybe I'd even switch out the Garen for the, for the Kindred, but I wouldn't, like, switch the items. But this, this way yeah. I get, I get more Brawlers. Because I know Kindred yeah, is yeah, yeah, super powerful, so as long as Kindred stays alive... You just win. I just win. Okay. I just have a lot of tanks and Kindred. Because yeah. I know I need... Yeah, I, I overpower you, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I have two Tom Kenches. Great. So I'm pretty sure I pre-level here. And it just, it just Kindred killing shit. And the, mm -hmm. the two Tom Kenches are pretty strong. It's like... Yeah, it's, it's hard to teach you things, but it's just like... It really is strongest board. It just, yeah. People just don't know yeah, what strongest yeah, yeah. board is. Just, I think like, a lot of it is just practice. So here I think about the Wayne over the other Tom Kench. But I, I, I value the other Tom Kench more than the Wayne. Right? Because mm -hmm. Sharpshooter doesn't do anything. While Tom Kench has a shitload of HP. Mm -hmm. Oh, but Sharpshooter doesn't do anything because your main character is Kindred anyway. Yeah. Right? So I only have the Teemo in for, for Spirit. Okay, yeah, yeah. And my, my brawlers are tank right. like my brawlers are tanky and do enough damage, so mm -hmm. to clean sense. up. And the sad thing is I, I dropped the Tom Kench finally. Oh I, I lose to this guy though. I I'm I'm a little upset because he has the the TF. It's just too strong. 
I mean, Kidra dodged the cards once, but not the second time. Yeah. So I don't need the top catch, right? Uh -huh. So now I have the Ash, right? So it's just like, and now it's like, okay, I slam Bramble Vest because I can. Yeah. So it's like, I, I just keep slamming items and it's just like, that's why I'm relatively strong because I keep slamming items. Mm. Yeah, here I probably would have created for like a uh, locket or something. I'm just checking, like, it's a 5% chance to hit a 3 cost chosen, so whatever. Yeah. And then, like, you saw, yeah. And I'm thinking about it, but I'm like, okay, fuck it, let's put it on the Tom Catch. Oh, and when I sell the Tom Catch, I put it on the Vigar, just for fun. <laughs> At some point, yeah. So this is where I level up, I roll down a little bit. Because I'm, I'm kind of winning, I'm kind of strong, so I want to be stronger. So it's good to give up econ to maintain the streak. Yeah. And you preserve what HP. A, what about a lost streak? Like, let's say at that position you were losing, right? Would you still try to level up? Or nope. Or just continue losing? Uh, depends on my HP. You saw the, the, the next game, I'm at 50 HP. So I'm like, okay, well, I don't want to lose yeah, too yeah, much. Okay. All right. It's all starting to make sense. Right? So it's like, if I'm, if I'm doing well, I want to keep doing well. If I'm doing, like, like badly, that's okay. But if I'm doing, like, if I'm weak as shit, then I need to do something about it. Yeah. So, like, this game, I kind of high rolled. But the next game, I low roll. I really roll. roll. Like, I really roll low roll. Like, yeah, I still turn it around, though. Mm -hmm. So, the important thing is turning it around. Mm -hmm. And here I go for Rod, I think, for... For something. Oh yeah, I wanted I wanted a uh, rage blade. That's why I go for rod. Yeah. Yeah, and, and like you're more likely to get a bow because you haven't found a bow yet, right? From here. I have. Oh, you have. Which I which I didn't realize, but but the rod is good for Vigar anyway. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a flex. It's like a flex item, basically. Yeah. Okay. I I don't think there were any good choices. I think it was like a cloak. Belt or rod, so yeah. Maybe a tear, but I didn't want that either. So it's like yeah, and it's relatively straightforward. But it's like yeah, I keep selling and upgrading. Mm -hmm. And this is why I go like, okay, well that's a Warwick. Um, wait, what did I put in? Yeah, I put in the Warwick. Yeah, yeah, I put in the Warwick. So I do this. Wait, didn't I have the Warwick earlier? What the hell did I put in? Oh, yeah, yeah I took out the Elderwood. Yeah, 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 I took out the Warwick for Elderwood. And then I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just put the Warwick back in for, for Hunter. I think it's stronger. Yeah. But then I realized, like, I have no front line, so I front line the Vigar. Because mm -hmm. he's a two-star with Bramble Vest. So that's the strongest, I can, strongest front line I can put together. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this makes a lot of sense. I hope it does, cause I mean, I do win or I do relatively well. Yeah, only top ten, right? Yeah, only top ten. Like that's not good. I mean, according to most people in NA, they laugh at only top ten. Like uh, Cute and Soju, they're like, yeah, top ten is is just for noobs. But still, I'm I'm cool with top ten. Yeah, I mean. Insane. So another thing I, I'm a big fan of is preserving HP. Yeah. Um, Cause like even yeah, if you like, fuck up late game, you're still gonna get top four. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's one. That's one thing I was gonna ask. Like, you just HP over everything, right? Yeah. Okay. I just wanna make sure. Like, but I mean, like from this position, how do I not top four, right? Yeah, 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 like 96 HP. 50 gold? Like, yeah. Insane econ. Like, I lose to this guy. I, I scouted him out. I'm like, okay, well, this guy's going to beat me because he has six Warlord with the Warlord Jin and he has the Warlord Spat, so yeah. And I do end up losing to him. He's number one in in EU, by the way. Okay. 
I would have never thought to put like World War on shit. Yeah, like this is some crazy next level stuff. But it g gives him uh, a lot of spell damage, so his fourth shot is yeah. super strong. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. This makes sense. So uh, yeah, I guess uh, it's time to wrap it up. So any any final Dude, questions? Dude, not right now, but like this entire session is really helpful. Like, I think yeah, I just I think, I think like everything you've been saying. Um, I just gotta I just gotta start applying that and then like seeing how it goes. And I hope most of the concepts are like transcendent of set, because I yeah they are. They I think like in four point five you can apply the same concepts. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard four point five is like it's still like the ba like the strategy is still similar, it's just different comps. Yeah, but I mean it's it's the same like throughout sets because I played similarly last set I got top ten as well because like it just uh, like right. it, the units don't matter it's just, just like the econ thing the item thing. Yeah. Like it's going like for certain things. Well. Yeah, the main strategy, and <laughs> this is hilarious. Yeah, the chef. Um. Yeah. Okay. So just I want you to to wrap it up. So. What are your key takeaways? I mean, the first takeaway is like just, you know, using what using what the game gives you. You know, like like the main example is like the thrush early game. I could have had Dust Vanguard, but I didn't go for it. Um, like the frontline backline early game. Yep. Like, even if I have a lot of damage, like without a backline, like I'm just gonna melt, which I did at, at a lot of times. Um, like um, smashing items. Um, like just going for the items no matter, even though like they're not optimal. Uh, scouting and like not trolling uh, while I'm like well, not wasting while time. I'm, like yeah, basically not wasting time. Um, and like just going for whatever they give you. Yeah, like just and scouting, playing optimal, stuff like that. Yeah. So I guess that's it. It's going on YouTube. So thank you for joining us, Jasper. Take care, thank buddy. Thank you for the session. You're welcome. Bye. Bye.